Julio César Chávez Jr. vs. Marco Antonio Rubio, billed as Welcome to the Future, was a boxing middleweight bout for the WBC world title. The bout was held on February 4, 2012, at the Alamodome in San Antonio, Texas, United States, where 14,000 fans were in attending. Background Chávez Chávez held an overall record of 4-4-0-1, having won 20 straight fights since enduring his career's lone blemish six years ago. The bout with Rubio was the Rising Star's second consecutive clash in Texas, racking up a fifth-round TKO against Peter Manfredo Jr. in Houston last month, and second time he's visited the home of the Alamo in his previous five fights. Chavez claimed a middleweight belt in June via majority decision against Sebastian Zbik and made his first defense on November 19, a fifth-round TKO of Peter Manfredo Jr. Rubio Rubio had gone 10–0 with nine knockouts and has been a far more authoritative, confident-appearing fighter. Among those ten victories was an impressive seventh-round stoppage of one of the game's elite prospects, David Lemieux, on April 8, 2011. Lemieux entered the fight with a 25–0 record and 24 knockouts and was hailed as a potential star. He has not lost since being stopped in the ninth round by then middleweight champion Kelly Pavlik in February 2009. <laughs> Main card Middleweight Championship Julio César Chávez Jr. vs. Marco Antonio Rubio Chávez defeated Rubio via unanimous decision. Super Bantamweight Championship Nonito Donair vs. Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. Donair defeated Vasquez via split decision. Preliminary card Super Welterweight Bout Veins Martirosian vs. Troy Lowry Martirosian defeated Lowry via TKO at 2.53 of round 3. Super Bantamweight bout Raul Haralis Jr. vs. Sean Nickel Haralis defeated Nickel via unanimous decision. 59–55, 55–59, 58–56 bout Whale Omotoso vs. Nesta Roses Omotoso defeated Roses via TKO at 0.55 of round 6. Lightweight bout Ivan Nahera vs. David Castillo Nahera defeated Castillo via TKO at 2.54 of round 2. Welterweight bout Juan Saucedo vs. Gene Colon Saucedo defeated Colon via Co at 103 of round 1. Super flyweight bout Adam Lopez vs. Richard Hernandez Lopez defeated Hernandez via TKO at 2 to 1 of round 1 Featherweight bout Jeremy Longoria vs Ricardo Valencia Valencia defeated Longoria via unanimous decision 36 to 39 36 to 39 37 to 38 Topic result Chávez retained the WBC middleweight title, earning a unanimous decision over fellow Mexican Rubio. The judges scored the bout 118–110, 116–112, 115–113 for Chávez, which drew a mixed reaction from the 14,120 in attendance at the Alamodome. Neither fighter went down despite taking continuous heavy blows to the head and body throughout the 12-round bout. Chávez Jr. overcame a gutsy performance by Rubio despite having some trouble entering the fight. Notes Rubio stated after the fight, "...he regained a lot of weight. 
I regained my usual weight. And I feel that he was very well protected. They didn't even do any testing which should have been done. However, Rubio neglected to mention that the local Texas Commission also did not to test him, along with the co feature fighters Don Air and Vasquez Jr. According to the commission, they made the mistake of not booking a testing laboratory for the event in advance. Former world champion Julio Cesar Chavez was at ringside, providing Spanish color commentary for Don Air's bout before watching his son's fight as a spectator. Among those in attendance were former world champions, Sugar. Shane Mosley of Golden Boy Promotions and San Antonio native Jesse James Leger. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> International Broadcasting. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Notes. Topic: <laughs> 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 External links Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. vs. Marco Antonio Rubio official fight card from BoxRec Official fight trailer Top Rank Boxing <laughs>